Hello everyone, in this video I'm going to be sharing with you how I created these shoji style doors with little to no prior experience doing something like this. With that said, this is not a tutorial, this is my first time doing it. The reason why I took on this project is because we wanted to separate the living room area and provide some privacy at the same time. The boss lady wanted the doors to be in this style and we tried contacting multiple local places but no one wanted to build them so it was up to me. For the ingredients, I used a bunch of 1x2s and 1x4s from Home Depot and glass sheets from Ikea. The first thing I did was measure out the size of the opening and with that, I was able to determine the size of each door. I began making all the cuts using a cheap jigsaw, a cinder block and a C-clamp to hold the wood in place. Once all the cuts were made, I began gluing the pieces together to make the frame. I had to make a bigger piece for the frame on the top and the bottom in order to make the doors the right size. So I used pocket holes to connect the pieces together and then I used wooden plugs to cover the holes. Once everything was glued together, I made grooves in the frame so that the glass panels would slide in place and I did this using a handheld router. I then sanded all of the pieces down to a smooth finish. And I began assembling the first door. I must say that part of me couldn't believe that this had actually worked out and it turned out better than I expected. I used the same long pocket hole screws and again I used some wooden plugs to hide all the holes. So with one door completed, I just repeated the same process for the rest of the doors. So once all the doors were put together, I gave each door a final sanding to smooth everything out even more, and then I sealed them to protect the wood and enhance the natural grain. So the next step was to install the doors, and for this I used a Johnson Hardware bypass track. I cut it to size by hand and I spray painted it white, but that actually ended up being completely unnecessary because I was not satisfied with the way it looked uh, once it was installed. I felt I had put so much time and energy into this project that I wanted the final product to look better. So I added sort of a frame to the whole thing to hide the track and make it look prettier. So there you have it, these are the finished doors and looking back at this project, I gotta say that it was so much work that what really helped me the most was to take it one step at a time in order to avoid being overwhelmed by it. Also I ended up making some random stuff with the remaining pieces of wood like this yoga mat holder, some wooden boxes and of course some wooden swords for my girls to play with. Alright, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thank you so much for watching and don't forget to like and subscribe. I'll see you next time.